Parker Indians. Ageless Brett Farmer finished second in the Great Late Models at the Talladega Short Track across the street. Fans to their feet. Coming to the center of the trioval, right there, and there is the Geico restart zone. And now they address themselves to the starting line. Green flag, the Geico 500 is underway. Got them teammates paired up on both sides. Going to be interesting to watch this Christopher Bell. How will he get down there? I think he's going to maybe, well, he might just keep going here. Might see him pairing up with his teams down low. Yeah, there left hand turn right there. We saw that coming. We heard him talk in the pre-race show about how they real the Toyota drivers have talked about really working together in this race. So I, I feel like that's something you're going to see with that group pretty quick. Be interesting to watch because there's safety in numbers. There's a lot more Fords and Chevrolets than there are Toyotas in this race. See Priest going to the back. I don't know if he got shuffled out or he's got a problem here. His teammate, Eric Almirola, leads lap one. Four Fords on point. Stuart Haas Fords on the inside first and second. There's a Penske and an RFK Ford on the outside first and second. Yeah, you got to make a choice. Where are we going to be? We want to go to the bottom and lead this pack. You know, we're talking about Al Marola. Um, had him. We were, oh. oh, that is That's Michael McDowell. McDowell spinning after we saw what looked like fluid or perhaps dust coming off that car in turn four. And caution is out. Right, rear's down. I don't. All right, might just be broke. I bet it broke the toe link when he hit the wall. Lap two, top of your screen. Tire. It's Michael McDowell. So the Fords exit pit road. Oh no, now they're now you're gonna blow the rears. I believe this will be a caution. And Priest is trying to get the car off of pit road without success. Now he's got plenty of time. Uh, Briscoe, excuse me, Briscoe, before the field comes around. He's got plenty of time if he can get that car to roll. He's yeah, not, it's not going anywhere. Yellow that out, right side, out. there it is, yellow's out. Breaker. Caution. Waves. Second one of the day. The right front's definitely where the issue is. For Chase Briscoe, who spins, coming to pit road. Six Chevys leading three Fords. The only Toyota in the top 25 is Denny Hamlin. Uh, on a little different strategy than the rest of those cars, which are 28th on back. Denny's out. Smart move. Bail out of this thing. Not going to lose any positions here. They wreck. I'm not going to be a part of it. Final lap, stage one. Who gets the 10 points? Watch the back of these cars oh. moving around. That's from contact from the car behind, given that push. And both lanes pretty much tandem. I like this. Chastain's car is super strong in that push. See Larson doing the same thing. Here they come. Into the trioval and then another thousand feet to the line. Elliott leads here. Thank you, Ross Chastain. You have pushed me, shown me everything I need. And Chase Elliott gets his third stage win at Talladega and his first stage win of this season. Nobody has ever swept the first two stages of a race at Talladega in the Cup Series. He's got a great pusher, great help behind him. Big Boss looks a little bit more nervous than we saw him earlier. Now Logano's in the back, and he is right at race leader speed. Still fighting for the free pass position. Ian Chase Briscoe and B.J. McLeod all one lap down. 
tell the fans, if you really want to understand what drafting is like, when you're on the interstate sometime and you don't have a lot of traffic around, you roll your window down, take your hand, make it flat, sit it right behind the mirror, and it'll suck your hand to the glass of the mirror. You stick it above that in the clean air, and it tries to pull your arm back. And that will show you why that 10, 12 mile hour difference was so incredible when he was by himself. Well, here it comes. Here comes a move by Amarillo. It might be perfect time. Awesome. How about that? Eric Almarola trying to spoil stage two uh, for Chase Elliott. He did. And Bubba Wallace. And does. Stage win for Eric Almarola. Super Speedway races. He won here in Xfinity last year. He knows how to get it done. Perhaps today could be the 42 Oh, stage. and he turned and Burton. He turned the Burton slides down to the bottom of the racetrack and keeps it down on the apron. Right oh. in front of the field, Austin Dillon spun around as well. Check, oh, heavy damage on that car. I think that was Todd Gilliland. At least three cars involved. He's got a draft, probably one bump too many. A little bit on the right side, right as he's entering that corner, getting into three, maybe came around on him. Like you said, though, Phenomenal job. Now you see everybody checking up back here. You start checking up. The first thing you do is look in that mirror. Now Joey's up. Joey said, forget it. I'm go oh, he's oh. turned. He is turned. Logano in the wall. LaJoy and Stenhouse bring the caution out for the sixth time. I saw it. He was thinking about it earlier, decided to go for it. Yellow car in the top lane, 22. This starts with that 36 car right there on his left rear. And as soon as he gets that, it pulls him back, kills that momentum. The seven car LaJoy gets to him. Can't do anything from there. Riley Herbst got a piece of that also in the 15. Push comes to shove and Grimson's in the wall. Larson's around and Larson up the racetrack oh, in traffic hard. and he collects Priest. Priest. Hard hit. Good grief. Saw that. He got to pushing him hard. Chastain was pushing Noah very hard but wasn't patient. Was ready to go right off the bat. Turns him around right into the fence right in front of everybody. Tony hard hit on your car right there. Very hard hit for Priest. Got the side of the 10 car too. Yeah, he just gets, you know, gets that push in the corner and it just gets him up just enough to open the door for the one car and off we go. How about this? Uh, Larson's car hauled off. There's one thing that you never, you never lack for and that's excitement at the end of these races at Talladega. I mean, some of the most exciting finishes in the sport happen right here and this is going to be another one of them. Kozlowski gave Bubba a bump to the lead, white flag, next flag ends the race. Down, 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 oh, down. big push. Blaney. Turns him. Oh, around goes Oh, Bubba. into Keselowski. Around. He'll, oh, another hard shot. Almendinger. Caution waves with Kyle Busch in front. Look at the carnage. This is the big one. And it ends the Geico 500. Well, he stayed out. We talked about it. Bad communication. May have won that race. Kyle Busch is your winner, but he's going to have to make it around here to the start finish line. Stay, stay, stay. You got to kill us. You got to make it all the way back around. That's right. <laughs> he can coast from here. He's good. He's got it. Oh. Kyle Busch is your winner. How about it? <laughs> what? Unbelievable. 62nd career win for Kyle Busch. Second win here. Second win of the season. Ryan Blaney comes home second. Chase Briscoe, after bringing out the caution on lap 42 on pit road, rebounds for third. Chris Busher fourth. Eric Jones fifth. Huge pushes come out of the bumper of this thing. Watch Blaney gets on him and pushes him. The car gets light, cannot keep it underneath of him. 
and he's watching everything that's going on behind him. He's not looking out front. He's looking out back of where that 12 is trying to go. Big block there. Guy moves up. Blaney was ready to go. At the end of the day, Blaney was going to make that move on him. He couldn't keep it behind him. Tried to block low, tried to block high, got wrecked. But no cigar. This guy stole it, stole the show, stayed out. Actually, truthfully, told, was told to pit. Pit, 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 we're not going to make it on fuel. Stayed out, landed right in his lap. Worked out this time. And even on the caution lap, they wanted him to save fuel to make it to the line for the win to be official. It's the 13th win here for Richard Childress Racing. He's waited 15 years to get back to victory lane here at Talladega. A lot of wrecks in between. But you're able to pull it off today, Kyle. How did you miss all of that and sneak away with it? Uh, sometimes you got to be lucky, um, you know. And, and some of these races come down to that. And uh, you got to take them when they come to your to your way. And you know, the seas kind of parted there um, when they went up the racetrack, and they're trying to push draft. And um, these cars are just not stable enough to do that. I seen the 23 just turn a little bit sideways, and I was like, get out of the way, just miss it. And, uh, and try to see if I was ahead of the 12 by the time it was called, you know. But um, just a great day for another new sponsor at RCR with uh, McLaren Custom Grills. If you ain't got a custom grill yet, these McLarens are pretty bomb, so you got to check them out. And um, we have a great time being able to come out here and race and, and be a part of Team Chevy and, and Chevrolet and get this Camaro in victory lane. A lot of talk at the end about fuel and who was going to run out. How close were you and how much did you have to work inside the car to make it to the end? Well, it shut off right here when I was trying to do a burnout, so I, maybe it's out. Um, you know, I, I went left instead of going right, fuel pickups on the right, so maybe I, I ran it out, but um, I'll see if it fires to get back. But yeah, we were sweating it being close, um, but I thought back to California, Fontana earlier this year where we have a win. And I'm like, we got to gamble. Like, we're up here. You got to take the track position when you have it and go give it what you can on the restarts and see what happens. And uh, lo and behold, it, it worked out. So uh, knock on wood for this one. Kyle Busch wins at Talladega. Hey, race fans. Thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.